lets me stay with a guy who's cheating on me. I, I tried. No, you I... didn't. No, you didn't. There were tons of insults and stupid comments, Sweet but you comments. never told me. You were never going to tell me. Okay, Carly, you need to calm no, down. No, I almost trusted you, Todd. How could you do this to me? How could you not tell me about Connie and Johnny? It's not like Johnny and I are pals, you know? We don't sit around braiding one another's hair. No, I get you loathe like, each other, okay? Loathe and but it didn't stop you guys from huddling around, and it wasn't about the mob money. You knew what was going on the whole time. Mm. Carly, I... Okay. Stop! Well, and don't! Because I have been swallowing Johnny's lies for months. Is it your turn to stand here and play me for the fool? I don't think you're a fool. Then tell me what's going on. Tell me the truth. The truth is I've known about Connie and Johnny all along. So all this time you've known about Connie and Johnny and you didn't tell me. I thought you were my friend. I, I uh... I, I didn't I didn't think it would get this far. When? When? When, when did I... you find out that my boyfriend was cheating on me? You know the camera that I had set up at the haunted star? The one where you saw Johnny and I having sex. I saw Connie and Johnny going at it. You saw Johnny and Connie in his office. That was months ago. Yeah, I, I know. How many times did you have the opportunity to tell me the truth, to let me know what was going yeah, on? Johnny swore to me that it was just a one-time thing. And you believed him. I you believed him? You warned me nonstop about Johnny. You came up with ridiculous excuses for me not to be well, with I him. I don't think any of them were ridiculous. My boyfriend was cheating on me, Todd, and you knew. Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't. Why? I couldn't tell you about Johnny because every time I tried to bring it up, you told me to leave him alone. You told me you didn't want to hear it. Because I thought you were making it up. Exactly. What, why would you have believed you anything that I said? You could have tried. You could have tried, Todd. Because then maybe I wouldn't have been blindsided. There's another reason why I, I didn't tell you about Johnny cheating on you. Why? Because I didn't want to be the one that hurt you. Are you okay with this? I'm um, okay with what? With Connie. Connie marrying Johnny, destroying Sonny, running around town doing whatever the hell she wants. Maybe she'll shoot out someone else's tires. No, I don't think she's gonna do that. Bull! How are you okay with any of this after Connie killed your granddaughter? Connie showed up again, right? Con Connie reemerged, and I and I went to her and I confronted her about Hope. But at that point, she had already turned back into Kate. So she tricked you? I guess. I, either way, Kate's not responsible. You're gonna let Connie off the hook for Kate's sake, is that it? I will never forgive Hope's killer. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I'm not gonna make Star go through that again. Star's already forgiven Kate. She's got her life back. I, I don't want my daughter to have to relive the loss of her child, the loss of her boyfriend, just to put Connie behind bars. Well, that's noble of you. The only problem is, at the wedding, when Connie showed herself, Star went off. She totally freaked out. So why don't you tell me again why you're letting Connie do whatever the hell she wants? Look, I, I know what happened at the wedding. I talked to Star. I, I told her that I didn't see any point at all in having Connie arrested. That doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. She's my little girl. I don't want her to have to relive that particular past. And you know what's best no, for everyone. I don't, Everyone's I don't know life. Anything. Car Here's what I know. I'm really sorry that Johnny hurt your feelings. There's no reason for you to apologize. I don't know why I'm getting so mad at you. Yeah, I do, because it's easier than being angry at myself or being so pathetic. You're not pathetic. You made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. You told me all along that I was too smart to buy Johnny's lies. And you are. I still think that. I can't trust my own instincts. I mean, even right now, I'm wondering, what if I'm wrong, you know? What if there's a reason for all this? 
What if there's some big secret and that's why Johnny's doing all this? It's not, it's, Johnny's just not good enough for you. He never was. But I knew Johnny better. I did, I mean, I knew the loving Johnny and I knew the kind Johnny. Now he's married. He humiliated me in front of everybody. Hey, Carly. I don't understand why. Hey. It doesn't make sense to me because he worked so hard trying to get me hey, to trust him. You don't, you don't need to do this. To and I wasn't so. going to let myself be hurt again. Okay. You know, I wasn't. And then he promised me and he promised me. And I don't understand why he would do this to me. You know what? This has been it. I have to go. I should get home to Jocelyn right now. No. You're not going anywhere. I could have the front desk call me a car. Right. You're right here. Jocelyn's already asleep, right? If, well, the hotel's fully booked. I'm not going to sleep in my office. What are you wow. doing? You need to talk to somebody who owns this hotel about the threat count. Been here for you, Carmen. And I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna be all right. 